Remember when I did that video on Airbnb destroying neighborhoods? <laughs> well, Airbnb has finally heard your message and they've said, you know what guys? We've heard your message and we are going to ban parties. We're no longer going to allow people to come into your neighborhoods where your property values are great and good and allow people to come in and throw mega parties to cause your neighborhoods to go into panic and to make people move out. Well, thank you, Airbnb. I, I would have thought you would have done that from the very, very beginning. <laughs> But let's jump right into this, guys. Look, we appreciate Airbnb and doing this, but like I've always told you guys, I'm not an Airbnb investor, you know, I'm not a host or anything like that. So I'm on the outside looking in. I do know a bunch of, you know, colleagues and friends that do Airbnb and, you know, it's kind of even, you know, some like it, some don't, but they still do it because of the money. They they all have one thing in common, they love the money. But I always question, always question to them, well, if you're spending so much money on expenses and you're making a lot of income, doesn't it flush out at the very end anyway? But hey, that's that's not the point of this video. Come on, man! <laughs> the point of this video is to talk about what Airbnb permanently banned. But before we do that, 85% of you guys are subscribed to this channel. What are you waiting for? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I would love for you to join this community. Hit that subscribe button now. But let's jump into this. It says Airbnb's party ban is now permanent, but a 16 person cap on rentals has been removed. Well, <laughs> well, thank you. 16 people? Can houses even hold 16 people? Most houses on Airbnb? My answer would be no. So the cap is probably for these huge mansions where people are capped off at that. Airbnb makes its party ban permanent. Airbnb on Tuesday announced a global ban on parties following a temporary restriction in place two years ago. Now, two years ago, Airbnb, because of the pandemic, decided that, hey, Partying, we don't want that on our platform. We're not gonna let people party because of closeness, you know, with the pandemic and all that other stuff. So they went the extra step, which is really not an extra step because everybody was kind of doing that. <laughs> <laughs> but it's the point that they made sure that they got that done. The company is permanently banning disruptive parties and events, which include open invite gatherings, party houses, which people book to throw a large event for just one night will stay banned as well. I'm telling you guys, when it comes to these Airbnbs, you make a big chunk of money. You make great money. But the other side of that, the con of that is you end up getting people who destroy your property. You get end up with something happening, some violent crime or some crime happening, property damage, someone fighting, your neighbors not liking you at all. <laughs> That's gonna wake the neighbors. Imagine being the neighbor of an Airbnb that's right next door to you and you see people jumping the fence to people jumping in pools, a group of young, you know, rambunctious <laughs> people, you know, making a bunch of noise all the time in the middle of the night. You can't go to sleep. Lights going on. Like, can you imagine that? Would you like that neighbor? Would you say, you know what? We need to move. We need to get out of this environment. I cannot stay in this environment. And that's what Airbnb having parties and all this other stuff in place allows to happen to neighborhoods. Not only on top of that, it brings down the property value. If no one wants to live in the neighborhood, then property values go down. That's just what it is. And that is the reason why we have things like HOAs and things of that nature. Even though most people just despise HOAs because sometimes they don't allow you to do what you want to do. They definitely do a great job most of the time. <laughs> most of the time of keeping the riffraff and the crazy stuff that you don't want in your neighborhood to bring down the property values. This is America. Airbnb and other short-term platforms have struggled with party houses on large-scale events. Airbnb placed a ban on party houses and rolled out several safety features in 2019 after five people were killed in a shooting at one of its bookings. In 2020, the company instituted a global ban on all parties as the pandemic hit. What did I just say? This is the type of stuff that happens when you have a mass group of people and you know, 
all into one place, especially like what they're saying, like the open gatherings. Now, I do think this is a great thing that they did by actually implementing the ban, but we all know how this goes. People will not follow these rules at all, and people will still kind of get through the cracks, and they will make different user accounts, they will do multiple things to avoid, and still will go through and do these party houses. This is the reason why I'm not a huge fan of Airbnb. I just prefer to do the rental thing, the long-term rental, the background checks, all that other stuff that I can do myself. When it comes to a property that you spend, you know, in some instances, millions of dollars, in some instances, 200, 300, $400,000, when it comes to an investment property, I can't afford for someone to come in and destroy, you know, 50% of the value value of the home, tile and walls and, you know, and sinks and granite countertops. <laughs> it's funny because it's true. I can't afford someone to come in and destroy all of that. And that, trust me, it's a headache. I can't afford it because of my time and the amount of work I'm gonna have to go through with an insurance company. Have you guys ever tried to file a claim with an insurance company? Ugh. You do not want to go through that. Excellent. Airbnb said that since implementing the policy in August 2020, it has seen a 44% year over year drop in the rate of party reports. The temporary ban has proved effective. Today, we're officially codifying the ban on our policy, but due to the way these companies operate, they can't always stop parties from taking place. Guests can sometimes check into a remote property themselves while the owner is away and can invite as many people over as they want. Boom. <laughs> That is what I'm talking about, guys. So even though I just said this, even though they still, you know, are putting in the band and they've seen a huge drop in people not, you know, getting reported on partying, right? But they're saying it themselves that they still can get through. And this is the issue with Airbnb is, you know, no matter how much you do, and the same thing exists in long-term rentals, guys. So I don't wanna make it seem like you can stop everything in long-term rentals. I feel there's a lot more measures that you can block someone is. You, you're, they're in contracts, they're in a long-term lease, you know what I mean? Like there are a lot more barriers to get through when it comes to a long-term rental than short-term rentals, in my opinion, in my opinion. But like I said, at the end of the day, they could still get through the cracks and still cause all this craziness. But look, this is what I want you guys to see. This it's very important to see. This is why they instituted this ban to begin with. Let's watch this. And I saw mm, four to five 20 something year old men jumping, pouring over the back fence, running. Unfortunately, it's a story we've heard before. And I heard somebody say, Someone got shot. Problems mm, at mm. Airbnbs. In September of 2019, a woman at a house party in Scottsdale shot in the arm. Nervous about the noise. And this was the scene in Tempe last year. The homeowner left with thousands of dollars in damage. And see, this is what we're talking about, guys, is Airbnb coming into neighborhoods and causing all this ruckus and causing all of these issues. Do you believe me yet? But see, this is what we're talking about when we have Airbnb coming into a neighborhood and letting these parties and whatnot. You cannot stop it. You can ban it. You can say you can't do it. You can make people sign a consent form and say, you won't do this because if you do this, you will be banned. But the fact of the matter is, is people are still deciding to have these parties. And in this instance, someone actually got hurt and that puts everyone in danger in that neighborhood. You know, what if someone was outside and, and the bullet hit them or something? You know, there's just a bunch of things that could have happened and that doesn't mean that this neighborhood was bad. It was, it probably was a great neighborhood. It's just the fact that when you put all of those people, <laughs> when you have an open invitation party or a party in general, a gathering with that many people. Do the break down, yo! <laughs> Something's bad is about to happen. You know, it, it's bound to happen. After a renter left his home trashed after a party. Mm. Neighbors say they've had enough. It's every weekend a whole new group of people that show up. So Airbnb's Ben Bright says they're taking action. No more than 16 people in an Airbnb listing moving forward. Most of their listings can't handle that number of people anyway. In fact, less than 2% of the listings globally advertise as being capable of having an occupancy of 16 or more. 
Now, here's the thing. I know a lot of people in my comment section are gonna come at me and say, Orlando, you know, there's nothing wrong with having an Airbnb in, in your neighborhood and having, you know, people just wanna have fun and, and you can't stop people from having parties. And But obviously you haven't owned a home where you have people coming in and out of the neighborhood, different cars, different, you not knowing who's gonna be there, who's not gonna be there, not really knowing your neighbor. Just imagine having three Airbnb houses around you and not knowing who is going to be around your home. So awkward. Your family, your kids, you know what I mean? Like you never know who it is. It's always someone new. And what does that mean? That means that there is a high probability of something going wrong, right? In that scenario. With disastrous results. You know, you could knock on someone's door at three o'clock in the morning and say, hey, you guys are being noisy and it could turn into an altercation or something like that. It's just not a good look, guys. It's just not a good look. So this mainly pertains to rather large homes. We are certainly well aware that 13, 14, 15 people uh, are still capable of acting irresponsibly and even throwing a party. Uh, but this is a good way to, to just draw the line. If anyone decides to throw a big party anyway, it can result in a permanent lifetime ban, potentially what? to considering legal action. The 12 year old mm, company is trying to appeal ban. to all kinds of travelers while working to keep neighbors safe and happy. Wow. I mean, they're going to give you a lifetime ban off Airbnb? <laughs> I mean, can't you just do a uh, sign up with another username or, you know, have your friend do it or how many lifetime bans can they ban you really on Airbnb? I mean, that's just a, a logical question. I mean, they're using, you know, usernames and email addresses, right? So, I mean, how can they really, really ban you? I mean... <laughs> I don't know. I mean, that's just a question. You guys can help me answer that question. Put it in the comic section how you think they could ban you if you have multiple friends and multiple people you know who can also book an Airbnb for you. I mean, that's just me. <laughs> but but hopefully, guys, you understand what I'm saying. This isn't a, a crap on Airbnb video. You know, I'm just putting the information out there that I think that them doing the permanent ban even though it is a good gesture and it's something that they need to do, it will not stop people from having parties. It will not stop people from going into neighborhoods and neighbors not liking that Airbnb is there. That is just not what's gonna happen. It is in my opinion that in some cases, Airbnb can drop down your value of your home. And if you are going to do Airbnb, make sure you look at all of the terms, all of the short and long-term implications that it can have on the money you make in the long run. Will it make you money? Are you going to break even? I'm not either here or there. Everybody has their own opinion on Airbnb, but you know, I'm a more of a long-term rental unit individual. That's just me. I understand you can make a lot of money in Airbnb, but you know, hey, it is what it is. So I hope you got value out of this content, guys. I'm gonna need you to watch this next video here. It will help you learn all about this crazy crazy housing market and jump into your first rental. Also check in the description below guys. It has all useful links, get your free credit report and become a member of our community. I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks.